Hello, and today I'll be talking about the single index measurements in geography, such as infant mortality rate, literacy rate, educational expenditure, and GDP per capita. I'll be focusing on the main IB countries such as India, China, Brazil, USA, France, and Niger. I will start off with infant mortality rate. Now, as you can see on the globe here, infant mortality rate varies very much all around the world. I will use India as an example. Now, India has an infant mortality rate per 1,000 lives births of 32. This figure is rather high as it is an LEDC and therefore the healthcare service is not as uh, good as a healthcare service would be in, for example, France. Now, I'll move over to France and we will see that the infant mortality rate per 1,000 live births is 3.36. Now this is a lot lower and shows that the healthcare in France is a lot higher standard and that they have a very sort of developed healthcare system which is inexpensive and affordable to anyone. Now moving on to literacy rate. Literacy rate is the percentage of people that can read in a pop in total population. Now I will load this up on the... Uh, I'll be using uh, Brazil and USA for these two examples. If we move over to Brazil, which is an LED, which is an NIC, we will see that the sorry, we will see that the literacy rate, or literacy percentage, for the, as the total population is 88.6. Now this is relatively high, as Brazil is an NIC, and its figures are becoming more like MEDCs as their standard of living is increasing due to the increasing population. Now if we go and compare this with a country in the United with, with the United States. Uh, the literacy rate in the total population is a 99%. Now, this is very high and shows that the United States has a very very good uh, education system, a very affordable education system for anyone. Uh, I will now be moving on to educational expenditure. Now, Educational expenditure is how much money a government spends on education each year. And I will be using the UK and China for an example, for this, for this, for this example. Now the UK is an MEDC and you're expected to have a very high education expenditure each year. And it does, as it be, as the as five percent seven point six percent of the GDP is spent on education. This this helps to show that the UK's education system is very, very developed and very good. And therefore the economy will increase with uh, more intelligent young people. Now if we move moving over to China, the uh, educational education expenditure in China in 2008 was 1.9% of the GDP, which is rather low considering that it has a, such a huge amount of people in this country. This helps to show that, it's an, that, it, that this country is an LEDC because the education system is obviously not very well developed, and even if it is because of the sl very low amount of money being put into it each year. I will now focus on the GDP per capita. I'll be using Niger and the USA for example of GDP per capita. Now, if we look at Niger, we can see that the GDP per capita is extremely low at 700. This really emphasizes the fact that this country is an LEDC due to its poor economy and poor standard of living. With $700